Hi guys, Mr. Rain here. This video, I'm going to show you how to grab the three star chef trophy and or achievement. This took a long time, a good four, five, maybe even six hours. But along the way, I got two gold trophies and a silver. So the first thing we're going to do here is I want to show you how to farm for money or Zol in this case. The first thing you want to do is create a lot of instant camps. This will heal your energy and your health 100%, but you still will need to have the hunger and thirst items with you. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because we're traveling to the far end of the junkyard and uh, you're far away from anything over there and you need the supplies to kind of heal yourself and then continue to the next area and so on. But our aim here is to get plague stones, golden scorpions and golden seeds. Now, the reason for this being the plague stones are worth a buttload of cash and the gold scorpions are also worth a buttload of cash and the golden seeds you're going to need in the end to actually get the trophy and to craft the meal that you're after. But there's a lot, I mean, a lot you have to do before you get there. So what I'm going to show you here, guys, is the location of the junkyard. And if you haven't got this opened up yet, then just continue the storyline. That's all I can say until the junkyard becomes available. Now... You can stop off along the route of the junkyard to where we are actually going. And there is a chance you can get uh, uh, scorpions, but you will definitely get scorpions and golden seeds at the end that I'm going to show you now. If you're going for plague stones, which you can actually go for as well, they will help with the money. Then I would advise just taking your way through this junkyard, stopping and looking at every uh, corner, every cul-de-sac and uh, actually just, you know, playing the level properly. But talk to this guy. He's the only way you can open the gate. Now what I'm going to do here guys, I'm just going to race all the way to the end because I know that's where the golden seeds are and I know that's where the scorpions are. But like I mentioned, you can potentially pick up one or two scorpions on the route. But these cul-de-sacs over here, those are potential areas, but uh, we're going to be going all the way to the east over here. Those three cul-de-sacs right there. The north, 100% guaranteed to get golden seeds, and then the east and the south one, you're guaranteed to get some scorpions. I've got between 8 and 15 or 16 scorpions uh, on certain runs. Uh, don't do this. I put my, my Frankies down, my Super Frankies, but um, you don't want to do that now. You want to save them until the end. So actually, I arrived at the end and I actually had to wait for them to catch up for me, but uh, don't do that now. What you want to do with the car the aim here is just to get as far as you can so you don't have to walk and uh, i just want to add here if anyone knows any way to get that sleigh trophy um let me see what it says here it actually says um a furious road travel the junkyard with a sleigh at high speed now i've done this so many times i've lost count and i've never got the trophy I'm, i was assuming you had to get from the start to a certain point near the end and i've done that so many times i don't know if i just need to do it quicker but if anyone has any information on that trophy please let me know as you can see here i'm watching the map closely because i want to get as far as i can the cool thing about the sleigh is uh, if you hit anything uh items or enemies you automatically get the uh, the drops straight away you don't have to hang around for them so just keep an eye on that map because it's very easy to take a wrong turn we want to head as far as we can like i mentioned to get closer to the end where i know there are going to be gold scorpions now technically you would need a hundred gold scorpions to get a million but um, you probably have sold stuff you probably got some zol or money i'm just going to call it money from now um you probably probably going to have some money from previous uh, play times so technically like i said you're going to need a hundred of those suckers and to get about 8 or 15 in one run, you know, it's going to take you a little while. This is what took so long. As you can see here, I've come all the way down here on my my sleigh and I didn't get a trophy. I'm thinking maybe I need to get to where the road is blocked a little bit ahead, but I don't know. So at this point, I waited around for my Frankies to catch up because I couldn't uh, place any more. Now, you don't need to see this, but uh, you, yeah, I think I need to get there to that roadblock. I'm going to try that again, actually. Um, what you need to do here is your main goal to get to the save point. Now, that little washing basket there, I left this clip in because on one of my runs, one of my runs, I picked up a gold scorpion in, inside that washing basket. But again, it's not worth stopping all the way along this. It'll take you so much longer to get those gold scorpions. I recommend just gunning it to the end like this, saving your game right over here. And then you've got the three cul-de-sacs right in front of you. Now, there's going to be some heavy monsters, some big guys, and those most irritating enemy in any game I've ever played in my life are these stupid hoppers. And not because they hop at you, it's because your character takes such a long time to get up. I mean, my grandmother could get up quicker than this guy does. It's so irritating. And again, I got to the point where I kind of wasn't enjoying myself because of the grind, but I got there in the end. It's behind me. And I just want to get this game done now. It's been a long time. And uh, there are some certain trophies that are just glitching on me. They're not working. So over here, as you can see, we're in the north. 
and I want to say guarantee because it happened every single time I came here. You can get gold scorpions from there, but you will 100% get seeds in here. Gold, se oh, gold seeds at least, as well as gold scorpion and the gold, um, what you might call it, the ziv blood. So right there, we got a whole bunch there. Now we're going to head down to the bottom again. Let's have a look. As you can see there, got the three gold seeds. In the end, I had plenty of gold seeds. It's the gold scorpions, which you're going to keep coming back for. Okay, we're going to jump a bit ahead here. We're going to head down to the next area. Now, we're in the east. And over here is where I get majority of my gold scorpions from this pile of wood right here. I picked up six at one point here. In one go. And you can get some other stuff over here as well. But that is pretty much the farming for the million bucks you're going to need to upgrade your kitchen at the end. And I, I thought I'd just add this in to show you that uh, I did get 10 scorpions on this run. Yeah. So just checking out uh, two seeds and 10 scorpions. So that is how you farm for money. That is the fastest way I've, 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 I've researched to get money. And uh, the fastest way to get the seeds as well. The only place to get the seeds is there. I recently discovered a, a Ravenger Scorpion, I think it was, but that's only worth a thousand, and I only picked that up way, way post-game. Right, the harvesting. So, what you want to do is get these golden seeds into the ground as soon as possible, because they take such a long time to grow, it's ridiculous. Almost two weeks, I think it was. Of course, you want to use the sludge. Do not use water. Only use the sludge. Because the sludge will uh, make them grow quicker. Well, they'll make them grow quicker than the water. I don't want to put quick in that sentence. But uh, water them, water them, and then sleep, and then water them, and then come back. Eventually, you will be able to harvest. So there we go. You will collect, as you can see on the bottom left-hand side, you will collect some peppers or some veggies and seeds, if you're lucky. And then they'll kind of just keep going. But uh, you'll have to go back to that uh, junkyard all the time for the, um, for the gold scorpions. Okay, so from here... We are going to go get our million bucks. We're going to sell. It doesn't matter what shop you go to. As you can see there, I've got 46 scorpions there. And I'll just show you over here the plague stone. You can get just under 60,000 for that plague stone. For 99 of them, that is. And I had, I don't know, maybe 2,000 of them in the end. Because uh, there were so many. But as you can see there, sell my scorpions. There we go, a million and 32. We will have it. The plague stones are worth 59k for 99 of them. So very useful as well and you will get them in the ton loads and that's why the first couple of times through the junkyard i took my time and i did every corner every nook and cranny that kind of thing and at the end i eventually just started racing to the end okay so vernon is going to have a mission for you which is the major home upgrade now this is going to be his last mission for you and if this isn't at that point yet for you you just got to keep doing his missions the last one will be this so it says he wants to obtain three frankies so i'm just going to skip that no need to uh, show you that. And then we're going to come back to him with the three Frankies. And then we're going to get our home upgrade going. And this is actually going to create a new kitchen inside your home. And that's where you're able to craft or to uh, put together the golden dish. But uh, there's still something else you're going to have to do. And this took almost as long as farming for those damn scorpions was to somehow find out where the quest started and the quest is the golden veggie let's have a look at what the name is over here it is the uh, golden experience quest now there's no indication of where it is or how you activate it i had to go from map to map at every time of the well, most times of the day every day of the week and search for someone that has golden experience and eventually i found it i thought maybe i'd have to do lots of other missions with them but in the end it was just a single guy i had to find and i wasted so much time searching for them but there we go there is hammer time that is the final mission for vernon and you can actually craft his uh, melee weapon as well which is quite useful not as strong as the hammer, but much quicker, so I like to use it. And here we go. This is the Golden Experience Quest location. Smack bang in the center, near DJ Zet's area. And uh, yeah, I, 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 sure, a good four or five hours just doing quests, thinking that I had to do quests to unlock this quest. Yo. Not the case. Just walk up to Mr. Mark over there, do your quest. He's going to ask you in the end... And he does this one at a time. It's just a classic case of this game being so stupid. I mean, I love the game, but this is just ridiculous. Why not just ask for golden tomato, chili pepper, and wheat? Why do it in one after another? I mean, that's just they're, they're trying to stretch the game out so much, and that's what this is. A lot of the game is about is just doing mundane crap that doesn't mean anything. But don't 
to get me wrong here guys i had a load of fun playing this game and i really enjoyed it just these ending trophies which are just a little bit tedious so i'm not going to show all of them guys but in the end he's going to ask you for golden tomato chili pepper and golden wheat uh, golden chili pepper once you've given those to him then bang the quest is complete a golden experience quest is complete come on you have to talk to him again <laughs> i was just like swearing at the screen going come on man let's get going because it took me a good three days to create this and here we go the golden quest golden experience quest is done so skip 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 and bang now what that has done is unlocked the ability for you to actually learn the skill so we go back to our skills here we go to survival on the far right and at the bottom right there got the golden touch and genius in the kitchen is my trophy for me right there right and jack of all trades that's the other gold trophy i forgot about so two gold trophies and a silver well the second gold trophy coming up now when we're going to do our golden veggie deluxe now i'm going to take a screenshot here and just show you for a bit longer so you know if you must go back to the junkyard or not this is the items or these are the items that you're going to need right there so be sure to get those going and then bang done golden deluxe and then uh, that is going to be it so i uh, like i was saying before having so much trouble with the uh, taste like chicken trophy devour someone for the first time i finished the game of 40 hours in still haven't got that trophy what's yours is mine steal 10 items during a shakedown i've got video proof of stealing 10 items and more items and the trophies are just glitched so there it is three star chef gold trophy two golds and a silver definitely worth it all in the end super stoked to have that behind me if i'm being honest but guys if you have any questions all about this game whatsoever you can hit me up in the comments i'm always gonna reply so uh, pretty please smash that like button for me with a lot of effort put into this one and i'm so happy i managed to find that question in the end because wow i was about to quit but guys i want to say thank you so much for watching i want to catch you on the next one